Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Tom Peter, and today we're going to do an upper body only foam roll follow along routine. All you need is a foam roller and a mat for this routine. We're going to cover your whole upper body, releasing that tight connective tissue, helping you to move better, improve your posture, and get more flexible. Let's get right into the routine. We're going to start off with your upper back, so just place the roller on your mat. Sit down, and you're going to place the roller between your shoulder blades. I want you to wrap your arms around like this, lift your hips up, and then just start to roll those tight areas. For now, I don't want you to go any lower than the bottom of your shoulder blades. We'll be doing your lower back in a minute, so let's just focus on the upper back for now. You might get a few cracks, that's fine. Try wrapping your arms the other way around. If the roll is slipping away, just bring it back down. Let's try some with your arms above your head now. Oh, this is the best feeling one I think out of all of them. All right, we're gonna take the roller a little bit lower now. We're gonna do your lower back. I want you to be careful with your lower back that you don't overarch your back over the roller. So maybe just continue with your upper back if you've got any major uh, disc issue issues. But if you're good to go, just put it on your lower back, lift the hips, do a slight pelvic tilt, tucking your tailbone under. I want you to keep your glutes tight. We're just gonna roll that lower back. You might need to tuck your top in, stop it getting sucked underneath the roller. Feel free to come towards one side. And then a bit on the other side. It feels really good if you've got a tight lower back or sore muscles. Just make sure you keep some ab tension pelvis tucked under so you're not overarching over that roller. Okay, we're gonna move on to some T-spine extensions now. So we're gonna put the roller just underneath your shoulder blades. You're gonna sit your bum on the floor, have a slight tuck under so that we're not arching the lower back. Put your hands on your knees. We're just gonna reach overhead for 10 reps. Let's go. So opening the upper back out, pause, and bringing the hands back to the knees. And let's go. Doing 10 of these, just nice slow control pace. So we're opening that upper back out. So if you find you spend a long time hunched over, this is a great one. Keep going at your own pace. Try not to arch your lower back. If you want to add some rotation in, turning your thumbs down towards the floor. Just going to go two more. Let's go one more. Okay, I'm going to come onto your side now. We're going to roll down your lats down the side here. I'm going to lie on one side. I'm going to start off crossing this arm over my shoulder. I'm actually putting a lot of my weight still on this bottom leg. And I use this rocking action to assist with the roll. Anywhere down that side of your body, your lats very big muscle. Anything up to your armpit, try changing that arm position by putting it overhead. Oh, that makes it a little bit tougher. Coming a little bit more onto the back. If you 
find a sore spot, you can stop there and just do some smaller movements like this. Okay, let's take that to the other side now. I'm going to start off with this easy variation, just small movements. Try opening that arm up. To the back a little bit. Find a sore spot and then just stay around that area. All right, I'm gonna move up to your triceps now. So I'm gonna stay in a similar position. I'm gonna put this hand behind my head and then we're just gonna roll up the length of your tricep. I'm gonna start coming down the inside of my triceps. Right now I can feel a bit more tenderness towards the end of the elbow, so I'm gonna stick around there. some down the outside of that tricep. Let's extend that arm now. I'm going to take a little bit of pressure off because it feels a little bit harder with that arm extended. Try turning your palm up to the ceiling. Definitely got a sore spot there. Just sticking around there, rolling back and forth, small movements. Take it to the other side. Start this hand behind my head. Just gonna roll up and down, focus on the inside first. Maybe working it towards the outside. Finding a sore spot sticking around there and then go for that extension and take some pressure off using this hand here it doesn't matter which side you started on oh it's painful today try turning that palm up to the ceiling Okay, we're gonna finish with one final mobility exercise. We're still gonna use the foam roller. We're gonna do something called a page turner. So you're gonna lie on your side. You're gonna put the roller like that. You're gonna take the top knee, you're gonna place it on top of the roller. This is gonna stop over rotation of your spine. You're gonna straighten the bottom leg out. Put your hands out like this. We're gonna keep this bottom hand on the floor and we're gonna turn over five times like a book. You might get a crack if you haven't done it before. A little pop, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Feels good. Three, let's do five. And then stay on this side. We're gonna do a slight variation on this. Four. Five. Come to the halfway point now. We're just gonna chop up from pointing down towards the floor and then back to the top. Chopping up from pointing down towards the floor. Back up, we're gonna do five of these. And one more, sinking a little deeper towards the floor with that top arm. Okay. Let's just do the other side to finish off this routine. So top knees, 90 degrees on the roller. Let's go five turns. So you want to breathe out as you drop into the turn. 
relaxing into it. Breathe in on the way back. Really good one for opening the chest and the upper back out. Okay, we're gonna to come to halfway now. I'm gonna chop up and slightly across. Back to the center. I'm gonna do that five times. I'm gonna chop up, thumb down towards the floor. Taking a little bit more stretch on the lats there. Okay, we got two more. And just one final one. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for joining me for that follow along routine. Let me know in the comments how you found it. Let me know if you've got any other ideas uh, for routines you'd like me to put together. Check out my playlist. I've got loads of other workouts you can try. Dumbbell, some mobility ones there, barbell ones. So have a look, make sure you subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video.